Hey what's up everybody welcome back to the channel my name is Watsal in today's video we'll be learning about GUI automation or graphical user interface automation using python so this video is mainly focused on mouse automation so we'll be learning on how to use python in order to control the mouse for us so we'll be taking a look on the pyauto gui module which will help us during the automation process and by the end of the video we will come up with a small fun project now this is not the most uh, unique or the most coolest python project that would have ever uh, built or thought of uh, yet it is a powerful example of what could be achieved with the knowledge that we gain in this video this project is going to to help us automate a small task that all of us do on our computers which is refreshing of course uh, refreshing is not the most tedious task to be automated but it is a good example for uh, an automation project and exploring the field further more so let me give you a glimpse of the project i'll open up my command prompt real quick and navigate to the desktop and run the python file that i created which is called refresh.py and now the operation that you're currently seeing on the mouse is not being controlled by me it's being controlled by the computer itself and uh, this will refresh the computer for me thrice and uh, the process is a little slow which was done by me by purpose so that uh, it's easy for you to spot out the operation that is um, working on the mouse all right so we, this is going to be a project we'll be creating this and as a bonus for this video uh, we will be creating this executable so that we don't really need to open up command prompt and run the file every time we will uh, make the process uh, even faster and make this executable which when just double clicked will run the python file uh, in the exact same way it's just going to refresh the computer thrice for us all right so this is going to be our project and uh, before i wind up the introduction part of the video i just want to give you an example of what my friend came up with uh, the py auto gui module so for that i have to open up command prompt and uh, i also need to open up uh, ms paint so i'll open that real quick and when I have um, selected my uh, terminal, I will be keeping my cursor on the MS uh, Paint window. And here I'll be running the Python file that my friend provided me. So I'll run the file which is called square.py. And when I hit enter, this program is going to create a square so it's a really cool project which my friend create uh, it's basically going to pick up any random dimension for a square and continuously loop within that square to create a, a spiral form of a square i could say and it uh, continues until uh, there is no extra dimension for the program to go on and create further more spiral shapes of that particular square all right so you might ask why is this not the project for the video and the simple answer to that uh, is that this project is a little complex however the code will be in the description so if you want to take a look you can uh, definitely take a look uh, of the project and alter it maybe you know just create a triangle or you know create a circle instead of a square all right so the code for this project will also be in the description but uh, uh, without any further ado let us just uh, learn about the pi auto GUI module and uh, create our refresh.py application that i just showed you all right so to follow along make sure you have python 3 installed on your computer also make sure you have a text editor i'll be using sublime text 3 and idle uh, which comes with the python installation itself uh, sublime text 3 would have to be installed separately and uh, finally you need these three modules the first module is by auto gui of course which will help us during the automation process the next um, module is pillow module which is used by the pi auto gui module for some reason uh, and the final uh, module that we would need is pi installer which will help us create uh, executable like this all right so let's continue so let's begin learning about the uh, pi auto gui module and for that i'll open up my idle idle comes within python so you don't really need to download that explicitly and idle is a kind of uh, REPL which stands for read evaluate print and loop uh, and it's kind of an application wherein you type in a bunch of commands python commands and uh, it will return the output then and there which if i would have done using any other text editor such as uh, sublime text it would have taken a lot of time which i don't really appreciate all right so let us begin by importing uh, the module that we just installed which is the pi auto gui module and this is going to help us uh, throughout the automation process and we'll hit enter all right and uh, the very first function that i want to uh, show you that comes within pi auto gui module is the size function which will return the size of the current monitor that you're using right and to use that and to check that we are going to type pi auto gui dot size and um, a pair of parentheses and then hit enter and now this is going to return a tuple of the width and height of the current monitor that you're using and we could also do something like width comma height equals to pi auto gui dot size which will uh, rather than giving us a size object will uh, actually just initial initialize the width value into the width variable and height value into the height variable and uh, we can use that anytime 
uh, in the future whenever we want so in this case i have a 1920 by uh, 1080 uh, monitor right so uh, let's move on to the next function the next function that i would like to show here is the position uh, function uh, which will return the current position of your mouse cursor and for that uh, let me uh, show you the mouse uh, cursor and it is somewhere over here and to return the value of the mouse cursor uh, the position of the mouse cursor to be appropriate uh, we will just type pyotogui dot position and hit enter so this will uh, return an xy uh, uh, axis value of the mouse cursor and if i just move my mouse cursor to the top left corner and type in the same uh, same command as you can see it's returning a value of 0 comma 0 uh, which basically tells that the top leftmost corner of your monitor starts with 0 comma 0 axis and the bottom rightmost uh, corner of your monitor is going to be the last value of your total size of the monitor uh, in this case 1920 by 1080 of course i can't read the extreme most position uh, so it's just one lesser than the actual value but that's okay you get the idea right so that is the position function so this is really handy when you have to uh, record the uh, position of any particular icon say refresh so if I want to find the uh, uh, position of the refresh icon the refresh or txe icon what I could do is I would uh, place my uh, mouse cursor there and I would just run this um, uh, command and I would get the XY axis and I could use this later on to create uh, any useful application right so we could uh, do that and the next uh, function that I would like to uh, teach you is going to be the move to uh, function which uh, as the name suggests would move our cursor from one place to another so as you can see right now my uh, mouse cursor is on the refresh.exe um, icon but if i want to move it in the top left corner i would just type 0 comma 0 and hit enter and this would just uh, move my uh, cursor to the top left most corner and it's uh, right here as you can see and we could also add in uh, a duration parameter so that we could spot out the movement of uh, the mouse cursor so if i just type duration equals to 1.5 what this would do is basically move the cursor from the current position to 0 comma 0 position uh, in a time second of 1.5 seconds right so the uh, so that we can easily spot out the movement and if i hit enter as you can see the mouse is slowly being taken to the 0 comma 0 x y axis position and uh, uh, it would just keep it there right so this is uh, as you can see the movement is uh, a lot more precise than what we humans actually uh, use the mouse like all right and the next function that i would like to teach uh, is going to be the click function now what the click function will do is just uh, click on any particular icon right so uh, if i basically just want to click the recycle bin uh, icon what i would do is first uh, take in the position of the icon so first uh, i would keep my mouse cursor on the recycle bin icon and then type in pyotogui uh, dot position and a uh, pair of parentheses and hit enter now this would give me the point which is x40 and y35 and now what i would do is type in pyotogui dot click and give in the uh, xy axis which is going to be 40 comma 35 and this would uh, select the recycle bin icon for us as you can see the next function is pretty similar to the click function and what this would do let me backspace and what this would do is right click uh, rather than just left clicking that so i would just replace the click with right click and the c would be camel casing all right so if i just hit enter this would right click the um, uh, the recycle bin and uh, there is a similar middle click but there is no point of middle clicking uh, the recycle bin uh, icon so you get the idea we can also middle click using the uh, pi auto gui module all right so this is a bunch of functions that you could uh, uh, use using uh, pi auto gui module now of course there are way more functions uh, uh, in the module but um, most of the time you won't really need them if you want to um, uh, learn about uh, the furthermore functions that pi auto gui module comes with please check the link in the description you can go and uh, study the docs about this particular module over there now before I finish this section I would also uh, like to show you another extra functionality that pi auto module comes with and for that I would have to open my command prompt and run the python repl within here and if I hit enter this starts the python repl within, repl within the uh, command prompt and in here I would have to import pi auto GUI and in here I would just type pi auto GUI dot display mouse position now what this function would do is basically in real time give you all the xy axis of your mouse moving around alright so if i hit enter uh, i have a typo 
now if i hit enter now as you can see if i move my um, mouse across the screen it would give me uh, the real time value of the xy axis of my current mouse location and um, as you can see at the top left corner it's 0 0 in the bottom most corner it is uh, 1920 by 1080 uh, and uh, it's also giving us a rgb value so as you can see if my mouse is on an icon which is blue it uh, uh, shows 91 on the blue part and if it is on anywhere red it is uh, giving more emphasis to the first value and if it is somewhere on a green part it gives more emphasis to the green value all right so this uh, is a really handy tool which uh, pyotokui module comes with and is, which is really useful and uh, it basically um, decreases a lot of time when you are uh, trying to uh, write down a bunch of um, X, Y axis locations for a lot of icons that you would uh, further use in your applications. All right. So this is a really handy tool which we'll be using while we create our refresh.py application. Now we have actually learned a lot about uh, the PyAutoGUI module and it's finally time for us to begin creating our uh, automation project. So let's get into it. So now let's start working on our uh, refresh.py application and for that I'll open up Sublime Text and create a new file on my desktop. Uh, and just simply call it refresh1.py because I already have a refresh.py application on my desktop so you can just name it accordingly and the first thing I want to do here is import the pyautogui module alright and create a function I'll just uh, name this function as refresh you can uh, name it anything you want and of course this function is not going to take any parameters uh, alright and now the next thing I want you to do is pick up any random position on your monitor which is icon free and it is available for a right click and make a note of its xy axis and to do that I will open a command prompt and uh, use the python repl import pyautogui module and call the uh, pyautogui dot display mouse position uh, function now what this would do is of course give us the real time um, uh, location of our mouse cursor the xy axis along with the rgb value so we don't really need the rgb value uh, we just have to make a note of the xy uh, value all right so uh, for me i'll just pick up this location and uh, you know just uh, make a note down of the xy axis so in this case my xy axis is 1366 and uh, the y axis is uh, 375 and without moving my mouse any further uh, you have to right click scroll your mouse all the way to the refresh uh, icon uh, i mean the button and make a note of uh, the xy axis of even the refresh button because we have to click that all right so in this case the x axis is uh, 1438 and the y axis is 485 all right now you might uh, have a different monitor size or if you just have a 1920 by 1080 monitor you, you could use the exact same um, x y axis uh, values but uh, of course you can just uh, change it according to your monitor size and uh, if you have any icons uh, on your computer just change the location all right so now what we could do is just close this and uh, we would start uh, making our application so we would uh, type pi auto gui dot move to all right so the first thing we have to do is move our mouse to that particular location and the first uh, location that we had um, uh, ma made a note of was 1366 comma uh, 375 all right and now I would give this a duration of one second cool and now uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to uh, do a right click all right so we are going to drag our mouse all the way to that uh, XY position and then do a right click and for that we would type right click uh, to the exact same uh, position 375 all right uh, and the next thing we are going to do is scroll our mouse all the way to the bottom where we see our refresh button and to the xy axis to that was 1438 so we are going to move to 1438 comma 485 all right and now finally we are just going to click uh, over there uh, which is the refresh button so we are just going to click that which is 1438 comma 485 and I would give uh, the move to the second move to a uh, duration of 0.5 seconds so that we can easily spot out the operation going on on our mouse all right so now the function is over and I would simply call this function thrice like this and we are done uh, creating our refresh.py application so I would just close this open up my command prompt now we get to desktop and run the refresh uh, 1.py file and hit enter now as you can see the mouse is getting scrolled it's right clicking then clicking on the refresh button and doing that exact same process thrice 
cool so we created our uh, refresh.py application as you can see it was just a simple 10 lines of code but it is refreshing us um, our computer and it is automating a repetitive tedious task that all of us do all right so this was just a simple example of what you could do with uh, mouse automation of course this was not the most coolest project that you could ever create uh, in the field of automation using python all right but this is a good stepping stone it's a good example and uh, before i close my command prompt i also want to convert my uh, refresh onepy file uh, into an exe like this and for that i want you to type py installer after you have installed the py installer module uh, space uh, with two parameters the first parameter is going to be a dash dash one file because we are just converting one file um, <clears throat> if the circumstances would be different if you were like having an image if you are trying to create a game with python the parameters here would be different but as of now we are just converting one file to an exe so i want you to type a parameter of a dash dash one file and then dash w what dash w would do it's basically not going to bring up a terminal while you run the exe so it would make um, the user experience much more better and not make things look suspicious all right and then also i want you to finally type the uh, file that you just create that was refresh one.py and now hit enter now this might take a few minutes depending upon your uh, file size or the number of files you have but for us it shouldn't take a lot of time because uh, we just have one file and we are trying to convert that into exe so we'll wait until it uh, gets over All right. Now, as you can see, it has finished converting our uh, refresh one.py file into an exe, and there are a bunch of different files and folders that have been created for us. Now, what I want you to do is delete the refresh one.spec file, the build file, and the pycatch file. Uh, we don't really need that. Uh, we all, all we need is the dist file, uh, dist folder, and I would just um, you know just move this refresh one.exe one. Uh, folder up and also delete this disk folder and now we have our uh, refresh one.exe file which when double clicked is going to run the exact same way um, we run our refresh one.py file using a command prompt the first time it's going to take a while but uh, it's going to be working just the way it should the next time you run it all right so it's going to refresh the computer thrice for us and we are done all right so that was the content for the video guys we have learned a lot about the pi auto gui module if you want to learn further more about the mouse automation then you can definitely check the link in description which is uh, going to take you to the docs of pi auto gui uh, but i don't really think you need to uh, learn the extra functionalities that pi auto gui comes with uh, this is all you need we have converted uh, we have created a really good um, automation project and also converted that into an exe so that we make our process much more much more faster and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please uh, hit the like button and also consider subscribing and also stay tuned because the next video is going to be about keyboard automation all right so thanks for watching